Hi, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the future updates. Thank you. Let us start the project. So for doing the this project that is the text with video background, we need to have two projects or two files to be created. So let us do the first one. So for that you can click on the new project on the kind master and then go for the 16.9 aspect ratio now you can select the background so i choose the black and now the black background is on the timeline let us extend the timeline for around 20 minutes 20 seconds sorry so we have the timeline for 20 seconds now <clears throat> the next is we can create we have to make the text we can enter the text for that click on the layer from the menu and choose text option here we can start entering the text we need So I will enter the text over here, video text, click OK. So now the text is on the timeline. So this text is going to be uh, with the background of video. So now let us change the font for the text. We have a lot of fonts over here. If you want more fonts or different type of fonts, you can download it free from the kind master store the kind master store icon you can see on the top just click on it and it will open you the kind master store with lots of uh, fonts over there you just need to download whichever you like so back to the fonts here i am selecting the font which i need i will choose some of the fonts from the list i have I'll go Neto Science Condensed Black. Click OK. So the font is here now. Now let us change the color of the font. The color of the font must be green color. So from the color menu, choose a clear green color. And select it. So the green color text is ready now let us reduce the line spacing so we can from the menu just choose the text options where you can see a lot of options for aligning central align under uh, underlining character spacing line spacing all these options are there in that so I'm just reducing the size of the, the line spacing of the text I think it's about yes now let us increase the font size by dragging on the corners so now it looks perfect now let us give some animation for the text for that from the menu choose the in animation and select the option you like so here I will put scale up mm -hmm. that's fine and now I will choose to reduce the speed a little bit you can adjust the speed over here and click OK then I will again choose go to the menu and I will choose out animation for the text and again I will go down and choose the scale down for this and adjust the timing 
there are many other options that you can apply on the fonts like you can have outline shadow glow background color you can have any of this so let us let me choose an outline for the text what is outline then enable it and choose the color of outline you need and I will choose the dark blue okay and just to reduce the weight of the border yeah it's perfect now and click ok so our text is ready just let us play video text is come zoom in scale up and scale down and let us extend this text till the end of the timeline that's will around 20 seconds perfect now our first project is ready for our for the under project so let us save and export this file now let us open the second project which will be the final one so for that click on the new project same 16.9 ratio and uh, select a background I am choosing a black so the black background is inserted on the timeline let me extend the timeline for 20 seconds as we have done for the previous file so another timeline is ready now we need to insert the video file that we need to be played behind the text for that from the menu choose the layer and select the media it will take you to the folders select the media file that you want to be inserted so choose the file and just increase till the complete covering the entire screen area so I wa here I want the video to be played from this portion so I will trim the remaining part or the first part of the video. So for that from the menu choose the trim and trim option. Select it and trim to the left. So it will cut the portions that I don't need. So now cl click on it and drag till the starting. So now the video is almost ready the video background and here some more video is there after our timeline so which also I am going to trim for that from the menu choose the trim option again and select trim to right of the playhead so the video is been trimmed both the sides which will eventually reduce the file size of your video Now we need to insert the first file of the text that we have created. So for that go to the layers and select the media and select the file that we have created. Insert it and extend it, adjust the location size. So the video file is there on our timeline. Now is the main part. Now we need to bring the video behind the text. For that, go to the menu. You can see a chroma key option over there. This is the one. Select that one. It will open the menu and just enable it. After you enable the chroma key, you must, you must make sure that the key color should be green as the same green of that we have selected for the text so just make sure the color is green and then tick ok now the, our video is almost ready let us see how it works
perfect now the video we have chosen is playing behind the text you can use it for many purposes perfect now let us insert some music to the file for that from the menu choose the audio option and go to the folders choose the menu option and go to the folders where you want your audio files are there and select the audio file that you would like to select this file click ok and now it plays well here we have some extra music let us cut it so that we can reduce the file size trim to the right of the player head so the music file is also trimmed as per our requirement so the final video is ready. Let us watch once again. Absolutely perfect. Hope you like the video. If you have any doubts, just watch it again or you can put your doubts on the comment. If you haven't subscribed our channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for the future updates. Now we can save this file and export it.